This is an overview of the Sensors Integration Cognix-based Chris 360 Compact Series. Here's the Chris 360 system with the hood off. The yellow arrows pointing out camera one, camera two, camera three, and camera four. These four cameras are set up in a master-slave configuration. The beauty of the master-slave configuration is that all of the data flows through the master into the Chris system, and to the Chris system, it appears no different than a single Dataman 474, allowing us to reduce PLC inputs and reduce the overall cost of the system. This is the floor stand for the Chris 360. On the stand, you can see we have four cameras and four lights to clearly illuminate 360 degrees of a round object that we're trying to read. Also included on the floor stand are the trigger eye, refined eye, and reject confirmation eye. And this is the tapered nozzle reject, custom designed for round 360 products. Here's the main air reject panel. You can see that we've got a regulator coming in as well as a lockout tagout shutoff. Next to that, we have a pressure transducer reading 94.5 PSI. If the pressure drops below 75 PSI, we lock out the system. Followed by that, we have a two liter air tank for surge. If you're shooting multiple products off, you need to handle the surge pressure. After that, we've got twin high-speed solenoids for the reject. Here's a short clip of the system running at 200 cups a minute. Here the system is running at 300 cups per minute. Here we are running at 400 cups a minute. Here we are running at 500 cups a minute. Here we are running along at 600 cups a minute. And just so you don't think that we're faking it, we'll go put a no read in and watch it reject. Here we've inserted a no read cup into the stream. We'll fire it up at 600 cups a minute. You'll watch it come around and cleanly reject without disturbing the cup leading or lagging. Here it comes. Here we're going to place every other cup in a no read. Watch it cleanly reject every other cup and not disturb the cups leading and lagging. 600 cups a minute. And here come the cups. Here we've inserted a mismatch cup, which you can see on the back side, designated by the yellow arrow. It's going to come around. We're going to eject it and immediately shut the line down. You notice the line stopped. It rejected the piece. We're now locked out. If an operator were to try and badge in and clear the fault, it would tell them that they're not authorized and a higher level is required. They go out and get a higher level person to do to clear the mismatch. And they can badge in and reset it. And now we're back up and running and online.